you want to keep up with your bullet journal, but you're finding things are taking too long to set up and fill in. Today, we're looking at 15 time-saving tips to help you set up and use your bullet journal faster. Tip number one is to set up less pages. Typically speaking, setting up less pages will take you less time. Make your setup faster by eliminating pages that you don't really need or don't get value from. This doesn't just have to be decorative pages either. Make sure to reflect on whether all of your trackers or other collections are necessary too. You'll not only save yourself time with not having to set them up, but also the time associated with maintaining them or filling them in. A time saver that some people swear by are grid spacing guides. These can be made in a variety of different ways, including as a reference page in your journal, a flip out at the start of your journal, or as a separate ruler. The way this helps you set up faster though, is that it has the common sizings that you use for your journal setup, helping you to measure up and draw out layouts quickly. Our next tip is to measure twice, draw once. Mistakes happen when we're setting up our journals, which in turn can lead to a lot of time spent trying to fix them. One of the ways we can save time and safeguard ourselves from mistakes is by being careful with measuring out parts of our setup and drawing in pencil guidelines for ourselves. Note that I said measure twice, draw once. So our next tip is don't pencil your layouts in full before penning them in. Working with general guidelines rather than fully penciled in designs will also save you time. If you're fully penciling in all of your layouts, you may be essentially doubling the amount of time your setup takes. Our next tip is to make your layouts take up less space. If a layout takes up less space, typically it'll take less time to set up. Do you have any layouts in your journal that you could condense to just one page? A consideration here is also the size of journal that you're using. With more space available on each page, this can also add to the amount that you're putting on each page, and thus adding to the time taken. Tip number six is to set up pages with multiple uses. I call these combo trackers, but essentially, rather than setting up multiple pages of trackers, you combine them into one layout. An example of this is the trackers page I have here, where I'm tracking both my habit completion and my step count for the day. The nice part about these types of layouts is that not only do they save time in the setup and filling out stages for your journal, but they also allow you to make comparisons between two sets of data. Heading into the realm of simplifications, another way to save time is to simplify your page designs. In this tip, I'm mainly talking about the structural elements rather than the decoration. That's a separate idea. Examples of simplified page designs include using less lines for your setup, for example, this no lines table compared to this full grid table. In simplifying page designs, also look to avoid time consuming elements like mini calendars done with numbers. This can also involve considering the way that you fill in pages. For example, this mood tracker was in part filled in by using watercolor paints, which is a time consuming material to use. Our next simplification is related to decorations. Make setting up your journal faster, either by eliminating decorative elements or by using simple decoration styles. This could be simplified in terms of quantity, type, or materials. It's always good to have some go-to simple decorations or some easy monthly themes to fall back on when you want to save time. Another way to save time with your decorations is to use pre-made decoration elements. This includes things like stickers, washi tape, stamps, and stencils, all of which can help you set up your journal faster. You can also use pre-made elements that aren't decorations to speed up your setup. Printables, stickers, and stencils can be an excellent way to add more complex designs to your layouts without having to spend a bunch of time drawing them out yourself. Tip 11 is to set up spreads in advance. This saves time because you already have all your materials out. So rather than putting them away and then having to get them out again to set up more layouts, just set up all your layouts at once. I find this particularly useful for weekly layouts in a monthly setup. You can essentially think of this as batching all the layouts of your monthly setup together in one session, which is very much related to our next tip, which is batching parts of your setup. By this I mean batching parts of your setup that are using the same supply. It's actually kind of surprising how much longer setups take when you're constantly switching between supplies. Examples of this include doing all of your black line work first, then doing all your coloring in with one pen, the next, etc. Of course, another tip is just to use less supplies in general. As we said, 
a surprising amount of time can be spent switching between supplies. So if you're using less of them, it'll make your setup faster. Our next tip is to lean into styles and techniques that you find easy. A good example of this is drawing straight lines. Some people find it faster to use a ruler, while others are fine with freehanding their lines. Are there particular lettering styles that you find quick, easy and effective? What type of decorations do you find easy to do? I know that I find stars to be a quick and simple decoration, while for you that might be a bit more tricky. My brush lettering takes me ages to make it look half decent, but monoline cursive I'm pretty quick with. Another way you can save time in your journal and set things up faster is by using the same styles of layouts consistently. The more that you use them, the easier it will be to set them up each time, as you get more familiar with the spacings that you use, and it also takes away the decision making or idea generation time with creating new to you layouts. What tricks do you have for saving time in your journal? If you are looking for some quick and easy layout ideas, be sure to check out the playlists and videos that we have on the screen here. And until next time, bye.